Welcome to CS 101. We are on Word Chapter 1, Project 1B, Information Handout. You start off by opening up your Word document. You're going to click here, Other, Open Other Documents. Navigate to where your student data files are. You're going to click on Word Chapter 1. Make sure you click on W01B Programs to open it up. Make sure you click File, Save As, browse to where you wish to save your file. Last name, first name, 1B Programs, and Save. Okay, we're going to click the Page Layout tab. And come up to the margins. We're going to come down here, click Custom Margins. We're going to make sure left is 1 and right is 1. Make sure the whole document is selected and click OK. We're going to come over here to insert, click on the bottom of footer, click edit footer, we're going to put document info and file name, and then you're going to close the footer. You see, you click your save button. We're going to press control A and select the entire document. And then you're going to make sure they're all left aligned. I'm going to press Control Home to make sure we're at the top. We're going to, you can double click on the outside once you get the arrow. And it selects the entire. We're going to put the font at 40. And we're going to select and press Enter. We're going to select the next line, and we're going to put the font at 26, and press Enter. We're going to select both lines, and we're going to center them. Next, you are going to locate all the words in bold, and highlight them. To make sure you don't lose it, hold down your control button. My computer seems to have frozen for a moment, so I will wait for it to come back up. There we go. And we're going to click Center to center those as well. We're going to press Control Home and then control A to select the entire document. We're going to come up here to this button, it's your line paragraph spacing, and we're going to select 1.5. We're going to next come here to the line that Sturgeon Point produces and click in it and press the on the paragraph of it. We're going to go to the home tab paragraph. We're going to click this little bitty button right here. We're going to then under indentation under special put first line. Make sure it's by 5, and we're going to click OK. Do the same thing again. I'm going to go here to here, or you can grab this top line and slide it right on over. And next, it says to save. 
and do the same thing to the line as an intern. And slide it over right there. And press Control A. I'm going to click the Page Layout tab. On the Paragraph Group under Spacing. We're going to click After, make it 6. I'll press Control Home. And we're going to select the subheading that are in bold. And my computer froze again. Here we go, we're going to select the internship program. And it froze again. I'm curious as to whether or not the freezing shows up in the video or if I'm just talking to myself at this point. Okay, we're going to highlight the internship program. Oh, come on. Stop freezing. Freezing. And if you hit control when you highlight, that way you don't unintentionally knock anything off. I'm gonna make sure we're here and we're gonna go to before, make sure it's twelve. Okay. Make sure you save. And then we're going to come up back up here to the Home tab. We're going to start with Short Feature Films. Through here. And we're going to give them a bullet. We're going to go down to Production Assistant. We're going to give them a bullet as well. Scroll down here, highlight this section, and give them a bullet as well. Hmm. Under the subheading for requirements, we're going to press enter. Okay. We'll notice that it is indented, and we're gonna go over here, click and we're gonna slide it back over to where it is positioned where it needs to be, so it's all back to nice and level. We're gonna type one dot and the space bar. And of course, it indented it for us. Next, we're going to type.
to save the document. I'm not entirely sure why that popped up. Save the document. And then press Control End. And we're going to see the list of meetings. We're going to highlight it. We're going to right click to see the bullet lists. And we're going to change it to check marks. And then we're going to click this button right here, which is the format. And we're going to select this list here. Right click. Select the format painter. We're going to scroll up here. Right click. Click the format painter. And of course, select that as well. Next step, if you notice this is a horizontal tab alignment, we're going to click it, you can see the many different ones, and then we're going to come over here to 3.5. And of course, it marked it for us. We're going to save again. Put the bulleted list still selected. Alrighty, we're going to select the list again since I unselected it. Ah. I clicked the wrong button. We're going to come here to 3.5. And I do believe I have the wrong bit marked. So I'm going to control Z. And we're going to scroll back down to technical. Okay, now we're going to make sure this is selected and we're going to click here to 3.5. There you go. Next step is I'm going to drag it over to the four. We're going to I should do that when I click on it. And have it back in. There we go. Okay, under alignment. Where is my alignment? There we go. Double click on the mark you made. Where it says 4, we're going to type 6, and under leader we're going to select 2, and we're going to click set. Next we're going to click on 4, and we're going to click clear, and we're going to click OK. Next, we're going to locate, I believe I screwed up, yes I did, click back on here, double click, make sure you click the right button to set, and then click OK. After cafeteria on art, you're going to click enter, 
you want to type in video editing and press 10 and you're going to enter in the date And of course, you notice the text. Mode. We're going to save the document. Next, we're going to press Control Home. I'm going to come over to Insert, Smart Art, and scroll down. I'm going to click Process, and we're going to scroll down to this one right here, Basic and click OK. You can right click in the text. Some of you may have had a box appear. You can type in that as well. Okay, next step, we're going to make sure we click on this, we're going to click on format and size, height is 1.75 and width is 6.5. Next it has us go back to the design tab here. We're going to click change colors and we're going to pick playful number four or colorful number four. And we're going to come up here, click the more button, 3D should be inset. Click that and you're good to go. Now make sure you click save. And then you're going to scroll down to the bottom. or control N. You're going to click the insert tab, online video, and in your Bing search you're going to type go 2013 1B video and press enter. It'll be this first video here. You're going to click insert. You're going to click Save. Next, you're going to click File, Show All Properties, put in your tags. In your subject, you're going to add your CRN 1654 or 1655. And make sure you click your Save button. And that is the end of. Word Chapter 1, Project 1B. You, thank you and have a great day.